Welcome back to Design Santa Barbara. This week we are exploring the rich history of Santa Barbara's Spanish colonial revival architecture. Let's talk about the components of a Spanish colonial revival architecture. Buildings are often rectangular or L-shaped. They are predominantly one or two stories. Many have indoor or outdoor courtyards. They feature asymmetrical shapes with cross gables and side wings. And last but not least, many feature red adobe roof tiles. The red roofs of Santa Barbara are truly unmistakable. From the mountains, the ocean, or even at ground level, they are a majestic fixture of the city's skyline. In the heart of downtown Santa Barbara is the old Spanish Presidio, being one of the few buildings to survive the 1925 Santa Barbara earthquake, it is lasting influence on the city is unmistakable. Remarkably, the central structure of the Santa Barbara Presidio is the second oldest standing structure in California. Having been built in 1782, it became a national historic site in 1973, nearly 200 years after its construction. From the Presidio, we head to State Street, the cultural heart of Santa Barbara. Lined with boutique shops, restaurants, and art galleries, the Spanish colonial revival style is everywhere to be found. From Paseo Nuevo to La Arcada Courtyard, El Paseo to De La Guerra Plaza, the adobe bricks, red roofs, stucco walls, and flagstone walkways make Santa Barbara a pleasant and welcoming city for locals and visitors alike. When we return, let's look at the Spanish colonial revival's influence on residential properties in Santa Barbara. 